Today, we will have a brief introduction of Crowatt's battery-ready energy storage system installation. The core parts of the whole system are minimum 2000s and 500s to 6000 TLXH battery-ready inverter and ARC-XH battery system. There are seven models in min XH series from 2.5 kW to 6 kW. The lithium battery we used in this video is ARC XH battery system. ARC battery uses the material of cobalt free lithium iron phosphate to guarantee its excellent safety, offering flexible capacity options for customers. Each battery module is 2.56 kWh. Support from 2 to 7 pieces in series, covering from 5.12 kWh to 17.92 kWh. The whole system is easy installation with stacked modular design. Support remote firmware upgrade to save on-site maintenance fee. The whole system supports double power supply function, minimum 2000s and 500s to 6000 TLXH battery ready inverter can provide 5 kW full power AC output plus 5 kW full power battery charge capacity. Before installation, we need to prepare the required tools. The operating environment is so important that it will influence the lifespan of main XH, so please don't expose the main XH to the environment of sunshine, rain and snow. In order to ensure the machine can run properly and easy to operate, Please provide adequate space from in XH. First of all, unpacking the min XH package and check whether the unit has damaged or missing parts. If happen, please contact the supplier. There are some connection ports including DC switch for solar input, battery input port, PV input port. USB port for the monitoring accessory and firmware upgrade. COM port for DIM's function of Australian models or power control interface of European models. SYS COM port for the communication of battery system, smart meter and backup box. AC grid connection port. Remove the dustproof from the inverter. Make sure the PV switch is off. Similar to the traditional inverter connection, the input of solar panel can be made by PV terminal. Insert PV panel positive and negative cables into the relative terminal of min XH. Limit. Max PV voltage. 550 volts consider the lowest temperature. Max PV input current 13.5 Ampere. Remark. We suggest that you use the cable no less than 4 square millimeters per 12 AWG to connect. The battery power cable is inside the package for the Arc XH battery cable accessory, which is purchased from GrowWatt. Insert battery positive and negative cable into the relative battery terminal of the XH inverter. Limit Maximum battery voltage 550 volts. Maximum battery charge and discharge power 6000 watts. Min XH has the AC grid port and we can follow this AC wire suggestion to choose a suitable cable. Confirm the L, N, PE port of the connection terminal. Thread cables through pressure screw, C ring, threaded sleeve in sequence. Insert cables into connection terminal according to polarities indicated on it and tighten the screws. Push and rotate threaded sleeve on to connection terminal until both are locked tightly. Plug the socket into AC output terminal. Clockwise rotation to tighten the socket. Counterclockwise rotation to loosen the socket.
Here is the communication connector for the SYS COM port. Port 1 and Port 2 are used to send the enable signal to ArcXH battery, and Port 7 and Port 8 are used to communicate with ArcXH battery. Port 5 and Port 6 are used to communicate with a smart meter. Port 3 and Port 4 are used to communicate with a backup box or monitoring. The communication cable between Min XH inverter and Arc XH battery is offered from Growart, following the number label to connect with the communication connector. Connect the communication cable from the smart meter and a backup box to the communication connector and following the arrow to fasten it. Finally, connect the communication connector to the SYS COM port of Min XH inverter. Please remember to connect the grounding connector, which is at the right side of the Min XH inverter. The terminal's information of the smart meter is showed through the table, which will be helpful to know the exact function of each terminal. Connect the end line and L line of the grid to port 3 and port 4 of the smart meter. Connect the 4A5 ampere communication line from port 5 of the communication connector to the port 10 of the smart meter. Connect the 4A5B communication line from the port 6 of the communication connector to the port 9 of smart meter. Connect the white wire and black wire of the CT to port 1 and port 2 of the smart meter. Put the CT across the L line of the grid, which is after the main breaker and before the load and make sure the arrow of the CT points from the grid to the load. Finally, please check with the home meter installation diagram to make sure every part is right. Notice, the standard communication line between meter and inverter is 15 meters. If it is not enough, also can use a network cable to extend. The maximum communication distance is 100 meters. Please follow the cable size suggestion to prepare suitable cables for the connection of the backup box. Connect the L, N, PE line from the grid and inverter to the backup box. Connect the L, N, PE line from the backup box to the distribution panel of EPS load. Connect the RS485 communication line from port 3 and port 4 of the SYS communication connector of the inverter to the RS485A and IS-45B port of the backup box. Unpack the battery module package and there are some parts inside. Arc 2.5H A1 battery, power and communication cables, user manual and warranty card. The power interface of ARC 2.5H A1 battery link ports for multiple battery packs in series communication. The battery negative terminal and the positive terminal. Grounding connector. Unpack the BDC 95045A1 package and there are some parts inside. BDC 95045A1 module. The battery power module. Power cables. Dust proof terminal. Warranty card. The terminal interface of the power module, BDC 95045A1. The power terminals to the inverter. Power button. The INV port to communicate with main XH inverter. The link in and link out ports are reserved from multiple clusters of ARC battery in parallel. DC breaker. BMU port to communicate with upper ARC battery pack. Power terminals to the ARC battery pack. The LED light shows the state of charge of the battery system. The USB interface for quick firmware upgrade on site. The ARC battery base is used for floor installation. The customer needs to purchase an extra accessory of ARC XH battery cable, which is used to connect from the ARC battery system to the main XH inverter. A 
adjust the screws of the arc battery base to ensure it on the floor horizontally. Put the battery base on the floor where it's close to the wall. Stack one arc battery pack on the base. Remember to remove the top cover of the battery pack. Then stack the second arc battery pack. Install the safety part in the final arc battery pack and stack the battery pack to the whole system and fasten the safety part to the wall. Stack the power module to the whole system. And please don't remove the partial top cover of the power module. Connect the metal connectors between battery packs. Make sure all the connectors on both sides of the arc battery are well connected. Remove all the dustproof cover attached to the battery pack. Connect the ground cable between battery packs. Connect the positive and negative power cable in series between all the battery packs and power modules. Connect the communication cable from BMU port of the power module to the Link 0 port of the topper battery pack and connect all of the battery packs one by one. Power and communication cables from the hybrid inverter need to go through the rubber cover. Then connect the negative and a positive power cable to the corresponding terminals and connect the communication cable to the IMV port of the power module. Notice. Please remember to connect the single plug connector to the Link 1 port of the bottom battery pack. Install the dustproof covers back to the floating terminals. Please remember to connect the ground cable made by the installer from the whole arc battery system to the earth point. If the installation site has the height limit, the customer could consider installing arc battery in two lines. An extra arc 2.5 HA1 series cable accessory is required. And follow the dynamic diagram to connect the arc battery system. Min XH provides a USB port for communication. The whole energy storage system can be monitored via Shine Link X, Shine Wi Fi X, Shine GPIS X, and Shine LAN X. As demonstrated, you can see the whole ESS system, and now we start to power the whole system. Firstly, turn on the breaker between grid and inverter. Secondly, turn on the PV breaker and PV switch of the inverter. Finally, turn on the breaker of the power module and the power on the battery system. Then the status indicator will flicker for a short time and keep always on, finally. The XH series battery ready energy storage system including Min 6000 TL XH, Arc XH battery system, backup box, smart meter and AC breaker between inverter and the grid, PV breaker, 